It's Lancaster. Lancaster. Is it not Lancaster? I'm gonna scream. You're in Lancaster. <laughs> uh, and it, did I say it right? Lancaster. What's up, Saftronauts? Welcome back to Sapphire Universe. Everybody say hi. Hey. Hi, we're in the car over here. We're all doing different things right now, but we're driving off. It is uh, December 27th as I make this video. Two days. Go ahead, Gabe, say hi. Our country. You're going to the country. You are going to the country. That is true. So we will make videos in the country, I promise. Because uh, what else would we do in the country besides make social media videos? <laughs> Driving off, we are going to uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Did I say it correctly? Lancaster? Didn't I say it correctly? I don't know. If we thought Saftronauts it was Lancaster. There and watching, Saftronauts. Get it right. Again, please. It's Lancaster. Lancaster. Is it not Lancaster? I'm gonna scream. <laughs> but anyway, we used to say Lancaster, and I don't think that is That's not right. correct. That is not correct. But anyway, we're going there. Uh, we go here every single uh, uh, break in, bet like, in between uh, Christmas and New Year's, and we do almost nothing <laughs> while we're there. We, 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 sit we maybe go out every now and then. We maybe go out, Kira's gonna go shopping, and mom will go shopping, and dad will hold the bags. Uh, I have he to get some things, going. actually. He, he said he's not going? Yeah. I feel like I'll be dragged. Yeah. And I'll be sitting on the benches with all the other people. Somebody has to But we're going to do that. We'll go to the movies. We're uh, we're doing the chill. We're going to watch. Well, um, there's a movie theater. An escape room. We will do an escape room. Maybe that'll be a video too. Who knows? We can't record while we're in it. Um, sneak a phone yeah no i can't concentrate and record at the same time but we are yeah we're driving off and uh, i think we're just uh, you know reflecting a bit on uh the holidays you know uh it was we i don't know we were just talking about how the last i would say from december 22nd to to yesterday uh, is all a blur it, 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 was, it was a fever dream and like here and i watched uh polar express at some point <laughs> we I don't did. know if it was Thursday or Friday. I don't know if it, it was, was either. I think it was Thursday. I, I think it was, no, Friday. It was Friday because we did ca uh, Christmas Carol and then we watched uh, Polar Express after that, just you and I out on the couch. Um, but yeah, but we did that. But it was, the point is it's all a blur. And I don't know, like, you know, Kira, Kira and I were just talking about before and I was like, this would be a really good video, I think. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. What, a really good video? a really good video and it's just like a video. Correct. Making fun of my content. Yes. Anyway, stay in focus. Oh, so I was saying, and here I, I want to ask you about this too, because this is how I felt. Like it's kind of like our family. We go to Cape Cod every summer, right? Mm. And it's kind of the same, I think, effect. How I felt this time around, where um, it's mm. like when we're in Cape Cod, and Kira and I talk about this. Um, it's trying to like sometimes resist the feeling of recreating the nostalgia and memories from when we were kids. And it's like- Trying to top it every year. Trying to top it, trying to like, trying to make it feel oh, like it did when uh, when we were kids. So if you agree with that, but like how, uh, you yeah, know, but how it changes, like how it's natural that it's not gonna feel, mm. Caitlin, and nor should it, cause you're like, you've gone through- <laughs> Sorry. You are- uh, trying to take that like you know the feeling of uh, when you were a child and just like make it feel the same way and make it feel as magical as lively as energetic and that's kind of uh, how I felt with Christmas this year where it's like I don't know I was like feeling uh, like the movies that were hitting for me like It's a Wonderful Life and Christmas Carol which have hit for me the last couple of years for sure anyway uh, especially as I've gotten older I mean I'm turning 28 this year um, what? Old. old man. What is happening here? Yeah. Old man. Stop it! Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I am. Uh, 
Anyway, you know, that, like that's how I feel, but like I'm always reminded though too, when it comes to this guy right here, Gaby, you know, in a nutshell, if you need an ounce of holiday spirit- Or magic. Or magic. Holiday. Yeah, you just gotta go to this one here. I gotta say, there's really nothing like though putting him to sleep on Christmas Eve when he knows that Santa's yeah, coming that night. Anyway, um, no, but the, like, I, I don't know, like there are moments where it would hit me like, uh, am I even, am I like aware of like, I'm trying to like make myself feel, yeah. you know, the Christmas magic or like, you know, I'm watching Polar Express and I'm loving the movie and, you know, but it's just to, like, you know, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm not, a, I'm not a kid anymore. And it's not gonna, it's not going to hit in the same way. And I think that's okay, but it's also just like, there's moments here and there where I was like trying to make myself. Yeah. You know, do you, what do you think? Usually Polar Express is my favorite uh, because of the magic of it. It reminds me of what it felt like when I was a kid. But um, this year, Christmas Carol and It's a Wonderful Life were my favorites. I like, cried, teared up in both of them. Um, and I'm very angry about it because I wanted to enjoy Polar Express and it didn't hit. It didn't hit in the same way. No, it didn't. And so but that's okay, I think. Yeah. Well, what parts about the other ones hit? Well, it's wonderful life, just the effect that he had, that George Bailey has on everybody, and like how he had to, see, he like was so down that he needed to see what life would be like if he wasn't there. To it, it's just a really I important message. Say um, that again. So. It's a really um, important theme, and I think it just hit more this year. Um, I went to mom and dad. I was like, I want to have that kind of effect on people. Oh, just because how, like, it just was very moving. Oh my God. Appreciation for what he actually had. Yeah. Right. You know, and not taking it for granted. Right. That and then also, I mean, like for me, that movie, just like the the last line with, with the, the note that Clarence yeah. writes him, no man is a failure uh, who has friends, extended friends and loved ones. That, like you know, no no one who is a failure in life who has that. You know. Anyway, this afternoon, I was wait, mom. Do you want to say anything or no? No. Nope. Yeah. I mean, there yeah. is one time oh. when I watched that movie that I don't cry at the end. You, woke, you literally up, woke I up. up just thinking about it. Uh, oh, my, my, my. I had a deep appreciation for everything that I have. Hmm. You know, and I just hope that I don't, I guess, uh, you don't forget how amazing and awesome right. your daughter is. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes things in life kind of take your focus away, you know, and it, 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 that well, movie well, well, regrounds well, you. To his life. I don't know, in a nutshell, like that that part of the film just like puts all the values, it's very sobering, it puts all the yeah. values into perspective and like what actually matters in life at the, the end of the year. I get past the Christmas Carol. I, mean, I know. Year over year over year over year, that's always remains my favorite Me. one. The George C. Scott version. The story is incredible and the writing and the language is beautiful, but there's just certain parts of the... Uh, of it that just really resonate, you know, and probably as parents, it's, you know, Jacob Marley yelling, mankind was my business, charity, you know, was my business, you know, and those things just ring so strongly and, and and life. to value your life and such. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. Truly am. A happy, happy man. man. So would love to hear from you, Safranauts, what, uh, you know, your holiday reflections, your thoughts at this time of the year, you know, everything. Literally, you know, just put it in the comments. Would love to hear it and read it and talk with you guys about it. You in Lancaster. <laughs> uh, and it, did I say it right? 